Hello? Okay, we're good. Okay. So, we're back with uh, some more Cuphead. Um, uh, last time we were trying to beat the B. Um, I think I was trying to figure out what weapon to use. Um, roundabout charm. What is this? Oh, it just shows, uh, okay. The checklist. So, oh, okay. I didn't even know they had this. So this would be really nice, uh, to see when I'm trying to go back and do stuff. Okay, I have a pretty good thing. It's a B, which is nice. I have to see how to do everything else. Hmm. Wow, Ribby and Croaks really is the longest one. Not by much, though, I guess. But yeah, we're back with the B. So last time, I was using the charge shot. I think I'm going to continue using that. I like using that with this guy. Okay. Oh, I messed up my dash there. Okay, I got the parry off. That's good. It gives me something. Maybe I should try the tracker. I haven't tried that. Okay, that shouldn't hit me. Okay, unless I jump into it like... Oh, I can parry off of it? Well, that's nice to know. Okay, now she should use the other one, right? Oh, I messed up. Oh, that still hits. Well, I fell into the honey, though, so that doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna try and use my EXs more, though, because I can use it here. Okay. I have to see how to not get hit here. Okay, well, I just dashed across and hit the platform. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you should get some Mountain Dew. Oh, so now you can't go to sleep? Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. How are you feeling, though? Sorry to hear that you're, uh, you know, uh, not feeling well. Is it just recent you, uh, uh, got sick or how? Yeah, like, today? Oh, she's gonna drop down with the- and do the missiles. Okay. These should be fine to- do oh, never mind, they're not fine to dodge, I guess. Uh, cause I jump into them. The missiles are the one I guess I don't know how to do that well. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. Since they always come from that side, I should always just pre-charge a shot. Okay, where is it coming? Okay, well, I would have actually dodged that if I didn't, uh, just jump into it like that. Oh no, I don't like where I am. Okay, there, that goes away, and now I can finally start shooting myself. Like, there's the other thing. I'm trying to get some rest to hopefully stop the English but I got so far as Kathy. Yeah, you poor god. Unfortunate. Okay, here she goes, up in the sky again. She's gonna use that thing. Yeah, so I think left side is where it uses this ball or whatever this is. I shouldn't have stood there. It would have been fine. How- was the soda worth it though? I guess is that's the, you know, that's the first question. Okay, jump over that. I think the charge shot is the best thing. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, really? I jumped in the honey there? Okay, that sucks. Oh, she's jumping down. Oh no, I dashed into her there. There's probably something... I have to figure out how to consistently dodge these rockets because I... 
don't like what I'm doing right now. Okay, so this should be the bowl, right? Yeah, this is the bowl. But the soda was not worth drinking. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Really? That hit me? She was even gonna turn into the plane there, like that was the furthest I ever made it. I'm gonna get hit there, of course, because it hits that guy. Why would it not? Can't sleep, so the food was necessary for your sleep, but he just counteracted it. Oh. What food was it that you ate? I dashed off into that. Was there anything I could have done better? Okay, wait, you know what I want to do? Because I don't really like the position that she's in. What if I tried swapping to the tracker shot? Actually, how does that just work with anything? Just some leftover butter noodles with parmesan? Okay, that sounds nice. Okay, this way I don't have to like aim at all. And I can just focus on dodging. It takes longer, but that's all right. If it's like, unless it really increases the length it takes to like, you know, kill. I just fell in the honey. It actually does. It seems like it takes a long time and I don't really like that. But we'll see if it's, you know, how- if it's faster than the other ones. Um... For the other, uh... How do you say? Other phases of her. I fell off. So how much damage did I do there? I did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I don't think I like it. Okay, let's swap back to... Roundabout. A great slam and then How's your, uh, you know, have you got any work done on the video? I'm gonna retry here. Or like, just haven't been feeling well since. Okay. Let's make sure I go to the other side. I thought I was just gonna get screwed there. I don't know how I made it. We find the police says remember this <laughs> and then meant to be like 20. Ah, okay. Also, it's not left side equals that ball thing. I don't know how I didn't take any damage there. I got kind of lucky with that. Well, not if I jump up like that, huh? I'm just somehow dodging this. I have no clue. I'm getting kind of lucky here. Okay, so this is gonna dash over to me here. I'm gonna use- Oh! No! I forgot! Okay, well that just stays on me! I still haven't seen this plane, by the way. A brawl is surely brewing. So how long does it take you, you know, once you take uh, soda to fall asleep, usually? Like you think it'll take a uh, couple hours? That should have hit me? No, it does not. But of course that thing does. And I died. Yeah, you know what? I think I should have done that. Made the font and did more editing image instead of editing instead of recording. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you did more editing instead of recording more. No, it's... okay. Okay, sorry. Just trying to see not to take damage yet, and I did. I mean, yeah, it makes sense you can't do it because of the sore throat. What am I doing? I just... Let me make sure I get hit there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay. 
trying to get sleep at 12 because he drank the soda like two hours ago. So I'm well, well, okay. That's, I mean, that's good at least that you're able to get some sleep soon, but it's unfortunate that it did take an extra two hours. Oh, I couldn't do the correct dash. Really? I... Okay, yeah, no problem. I just appreciate you stopping by. I hope you do get some really good rest when you're able to. I jumped into the bowl. A great slam and then some. Now go! I find this, like, attack so random that she has. Like, why is it a security guard? Why does he place down, like, bombs? And why is there, like, there's worker bees walking out? Like, just going to their 9 to 5. I just fell off. These pla I don't like these platforms. I don't know. Like, I it feels like I should be standing on them sometimes, and then it doesn't happen. Okay, one. Of course, that guy tanks it, so I'm not going to be able to get it on this rotation. Why is there? Yeah, that is a good. That is also a good question. And why does she also turn into a plane? And what are even the attacks she uses? This uh, boss is just so strange. I feel like every other boss, you know, makes sense like... Oh, you know... Like, it, it makes sense with the... Like, what they are, like, who they are, like, what abilities they can do. Hers just makes no sense to me. Oh, that got hit there, of course. Oh, she's going to turn into a plane here. Okay, hopefully I'm hitting from over here. Or do I need to be lower? Oh, I guess I do. Hmm. Oh, that was right there! I didn't even think I was that close! The queen be swimming with purple shirt. Yeah, you got yeah, very bee-like behavior, wouldn't you say so? <laughs> you gotta love the purple triangle. All bees got the purple triangle. Uh, this isn't gonna be it. Yeah, I can just jumped up there. You know, I just- she also has a bib there at the beginning, right? Where does it go? Um... Like, it just disappears into thin air. Exactly. I mean, what is it? We- It's not like often you see a queen bee, right? We don't know if they do that or not. These people probably, you know, did their research. They know that the- that's, that's what the queen bee does normally. Oh no. Yeah, so I was a bit worried about. Here she comes down again. Oh. The purple triangle of death. Okay, so she should now be turning to the plane, I believe. Yeah, there she goes. Is it the empty say, yeah. Oh, I think I should be dead here, actually, because I'm going to take damage the second I come out. Dang, I always get so close. If I just don't take one bit of damage, like, if I didn't take that last bit of damage here, it would have been fine. Oh, no. Oh. I can take no damage in this first phase. <laughs> Same one. Yeah. Now go. Is there any? Are, are there any other animal bosses in this? 
Oh yeah, in the uh, in the DLC, there's like that cow one, isn't isn't there? And she turns into like a sausage or something and becomes like a can of something. I can't remember exactly, but I swear I've seen that. It's nice that only six, six charge shots for that. There's gotta be more than that. Oh yeah, there's the, the, the mouse, isn't there? As well, I think that's in the base game. And then that turns into the cat. Okay, cue that I got the parry off there. And of course, it spawns in the worst spot! I mean, it just spawns right on top of me, that's just normal. I'm getting so close. Oh, I missed that. What else is there? Oh yeah, the dragons, yep. The iconic real animal, true, you're right, that is true. Oh yeah, there's the frogs as well. Nice. I was able to kill him there. Bird? Yeah, true. Yeah, okay, so there are a lot of animals. And they all do normal animal thing. I mean, fairly... Actually, no, the frogs don't. The frogs, I don't know what they do. I parried that and then still took damage. I jumped into the thing. But let's see, I think generally, the birds try to eat each other. I mean, but, you know, the bird still, like, flies and then shoots feathers, right? It's not like... Like, that... That's somewhat normal behavior. It's not like the bees where it's just, like... Purple energy. I'm dead. There. There's four. I walked into that. And then this should be... No, there's one more. I'm glad the roundabout can go off screen. It seems like the other shots, like, once they go off screen, it's just done. Is that really? That hit me? The DLC also has a bug boss? Okay, I don't know much about the DLC. Actually, no, I do, I do know a couple things about the DLC, but, uh... Like, I know there's the, uh... Oh, no, I thought I could make that jump. There's the, like, the, the cow boss, the only reason I know that was because, uh... It had a really good song, I think that's probably my favorite song of Cuphead. Um, the High Noon Hoopla, I think it was called. <laughs> you don't want to spoil it? Okay. And then I know, um, the, uh, oh no, oh no, oh, hit it, hit it there. And, um, there's the angel and devil boss. That one looked so cool. I, like, the fact that, like, I don't know why, it just looks so smooth. Just the animations, like, and the art of playing the boss, like, it just looked really nice. I liked it a lot. Like, just, I don't know how it's, like, playing. But just how it looked, it looked really good. I just dashed into that. And then, I don't know... I know there's like a Yeti boss. Um, I don't know any... like... I just know what the boss looks like, I don't know anything about that. Like, I just know it exists. Let's see, is there anything, like, else that I can somehow pull from what I've seen? Ah, uh, of course I get hit there. Is there any point in using, like, the normal attack? 
I feel like these are just like all like better. Okay, I should be able to attack here, right? Oh no, it comes. Okay, so when she leans to one side, that's when she's gonna. That's the attack side she's gonna attack to. I'll probably. So what I plan to do for like the uh, like thing is try and get like S rank on all bosses for Cuphead, and then. Um, Uh, like, beat everything else as well, like, 100% it. That's probably what, I, like, I plan to do. So then, after I beat it, like, you know, in the normal game, that's probably when I'll go try the DLC. But, like, that won't be part of, like, you know, the official thing of what I do. Okay, I, I'm, I'm still not very good at dodging this attack. I think the normal attack has the highest DPS, but it's all a lot harder to use. Oh, does it? Okay. Not the highest, but very high damage. Okay. Because, yeah, it's like you have to be looking at it. Like, looking at uh, where you're shooting. Which can always be hard to get off. A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. Okay, this B. The worst part about this first phase are the random worker bees that disappear. You see, like that! I would have been completely fine if they just didn't appear to decide to appear from that one place. Okay, I'm resetting here. If I take, like, ideally I don't want to take one hit, but. If I take two, that's a definite reset. Okay, I think it comes from the left side next. Can I please hit my thing? Hit that, that ball should not hit me. Oh, but I'm gonna jump into that if I'm not careful. I fell all the way down. Ah, oh, this is just not- that was going so well as well. Okay, so here's the books. She shoots fists! I'm dead there. Oh, I missed my jump. It's always so close. A great slam and then some. Here goes. I'm not I'm still relying on my special for the third phase. I'm not really sure how to go about like damaging it. Alright. The guy beat him with only a, a melee attack? This is a melee attack? I thought. Why did the parry not go off there? Don't have a. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm gonna dash into that. I feel like how easy this boss is, it's completely dependent on what platforms you get. Like, you get e good, easy platforms and it's fine, or you can get the most difficult platforms and then it's, like, impossible. Red Grimm's video is 17 minutes long. I didn't even- what's the melee attack even in this game? I didn't even know there was.
Okay, she's gonna go to the other side. Should be able to jump around. Oh, my bit we're here. What killed me that? There. I parried that. This match will get red hot. Now go! Cause like I heard the parry, so I don't know what killed me there. Yeah, probably watch that one. Yeah, I think that sounds good. But, uh, I, yeah, I'll watch the, the genie. I just dashed and I couldn't get back on the platform. Call Whetstone something back from the shop makes the parody a little bit dangerous. Anything you parry is super pathetic. Forces you to make a good challenge. Ah, oh, okay. I guess yeah, it's the uh, it's the charms, right? I haven't gotten any charm other than my uh... oh, I fell really. Other than the I forget what it's called, the smoke bomb. Because I honestly like the other two that's there in the shop. I have no like this is just seems better. I just what happened there? I hit the platform there. <laughs> I'm I apologize, I'm sorry. Oh, let's dash there. Nice, that's a good rotation there. Still get better sleep than most nights. Well that's a positive then. Oh okay, dash. I don't even know where I am. Oh, there is where I was. Okay. Wait, cause she should she could shoot the missile as I am as she's going back up. I don't even know that. That's because I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Let's parry that. Which is probably why you're getting sick. It could be a reason, yeah. Definitely a possibility. But it's not like I'm one to talk. That is uh, a normal occurrence for me as well. Really? She goes that close? Hmm. I have to figure out a good time to use my special. I still- you know what, I need- I need to use my EX for this, uh, charge attack. I still haven't seen what this is. Also, maybe I should be using the charge attack in this. I haven't tried it out yet. I hit the top there. Your special does- yeah, but I always die. Cause it's like, I use it right in a place where I'm gonna get hit. Okay, so what is this? Oh, it like just blows up. Okay, well that's good to know. I thought like, I don't know what I thought that was, but I thought it was like a dud or something. The first time I used this. That's why I used it twice there. I'm trying to want, like think if uh... I should just use the charge attack for everything. Okay, I was hoping for a parry there, but I guess not. Why do the worker bees appear for so long?
I dashed into that. Oh, let's not get hit by that missile or try not to. There's gonna be another one. Yep, there it is. Okay, no, I think the roundabout is better. I get more damage off like that. Yeah, because I, I die there. I mean, I, the thing is, because usually I can get it in two phases if I use roundabout instead of uh, three, which is what I, happened with the charge attack there. I'm, oh, I thought I would take damage, and then I ended up taking damage anyway, so it didn't matter, I guess, really. I'm just going to restart. Retry. I have gotten so close to killing this bee. And I just can't get back to the place now. Yeah, I just died to the worker bee there. It's fully edit concrete. It's still 8 because the actual winning at 10 6. Oh my gosh. That's pretty crazy. The stuff that people do for the challenge. <laughs> I fell? I couldn't, I didn't know what to do there. If I jumped, I knew I would be hitting her. Oh no. I'm gonna get hit there? I somehow didn't. Nice. Hopefully I did a lot of damage during that to kind of kill her. Oh wait, that's the first time I saw that fist attack! How close was I? Oh, it's not even that close. Seen all the videos, we can't remember how long the fights are. Okay. You just imagine how long that fight. So why are like is, it, is that fight so long? Do bosses like do some bosses have more HP than others? Or is it just like having to play safe? Here we go. Oh yeah, I think there is a barrier on top that I'll, I'm hitting. What? I parry! I feel like sometimes the parry just doesn't go off. One, two, three. Nice. One, two, three. Good. She turns into the plane. Nice. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit here. Can I dash? No, I couldn't dash to the other side quickly enough. Most bosses have similar HP, but a lot of bosses only have a couple openings for attack. Okay. Really? Okay. Let's go. I, I feel it is such a rare, like, such a rarity for me to get through. Okay, I love it when she uh, spawns the thing on me like that. Uh, for me to get that through that first phase without taking any damage. One, two, three. So there's half the damage. There's four. Okay. One, two, okay. And we got it before he was able to place down the next bomb. Where's she gonna spawn in? This, okay, this one's fine to dodge. 
is when the second one spawns in, that's when that's a bit more rough, you see, like that, because then it's closes in. She's coming down the same spot. I think I might use a EX here. Oh, that was a bit close there. That's also close. And I jumped into that. I think I can parry off that if I remember. Okay, I'm close to getting the super. Which side is she gonna go to? That side? Yeah, dash across then. How do I hit her? Hmm. I guess law. I should take Lobber. Is it better to take lo Lobber in this? No, because like the problem that I'm having is not that um uh not that I can dodge. The problem is that I can't hit her during that last phase. Do you have any coins? I only have one. Because I feel like around- maybe charge is not necessary. I feel like I have to get Lobber. Yeah, I only have one coin to spend, so I don't think so. That's what I feel. Because, like, I agree I needed to jump there, but, like, I just kind of gave up because I wasn't able to hit her. And I don't know what angle I had to hit at. Okay, first phase is going to be a bit more difficult now. A great slam and then some. But or, 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 at least it'll be a bit longer. Oh, actually, no. Lava is putting in some work here. Oh, I fell into that. Maybe I use roundabout? When I'm, like, above, I need to swap to lava. And now here's where I use roundabout. There. Okay, wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. And then here I can just use roundabout fully for this. Where's she coming down from? Same side? Okay. Should be easy. Okay, not like that. I... I wasn't focusing on my... I was just focusing on my position relative to where the triangle was, and I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I'm falling underground. Oh, I completely messed that up. Oh no, that sucks. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I should be able to hit her. Yeah, now I can actually hit her, which is nice. Oh, I'm getting hit. No, I jumped into the fist there. Okay, that's good, though. If I use my... If I had my super there, I don't think I had it up in time. I could be wrong, though. But if I had my super there, that, that would have been it. And this boss has already taken me 40 minutes to try and, like, beat... After like, you know, 10 minutes of attempts like before, or maybe even more, probably more, actually. I think I'll just stick with roundabout for the first two phases. Swapping to lobber is a bit too much, I feel. I mean, maybe not, because hair is like good. Yeah. This match will get red hot. And begin! Okay, let's walk up to him. Okay, not that close, I guess. A great slam and then some. You're up. Okay, here he goes. Let's dash over, and then now I can have roundabout again. I have to, maybe I should just stick with Lobber, because I feel... I'm hitting more shots with Lobber, even when, like, I'm not, you know, like, hitting, like, there. The ball. I don't know why. I, these, this is, like, the most satisfying shot for me in the game. There's something, like, just seeing them so smooth. And it's, like, just hitting them. It feels like 
the hits have impact. And even this move, I feel it could be, you know, like, uh, helpful for. Because I could just stand here and then it hits. Okay, there we go. Should be good. Okay, I can dash through that. And dash through here. Good. Maybe what I could do is try to get some attacks off first, and then after try to end up with super. Like that, probably? Mm, I think that was the right idea, I just did it a bit too soon, yeah. Because I, I panicked at the, um, at that. At that. I will definitely beat her today. I can promise that. I will not end here until I beat her. Unless we reach, like, the two-hour mark or something. Then that'll be kind of rough. Nice. Good first phase. Now, I think we swapped the roundabout, unless it's where she comes down the middle. Yeah. Okay. I dashed into her there. Oh, I'm gonna take more damage. Yeah. Oh, that was such poor platforming by me. Okay, I'm somehow hitting him from here. At least was. I didn't realize that was coming towards me. I thought everything was off the screen already. Dang. I'm not, like, getting any shots in this phase right now. Okay, well, he's dead now, though. That took so much longer than last time. I thought for some reason I could walk off the other side and then dash back on, but uh, no, I could not do that because there's a wall there. I just walked off. What's more platforming? Or what more crushing? Moving platforms, boss grim. Wait. Moving platforms... <laughs> um, I think this one. Because... Uh... Grimm's, I don't know, felt more... It, I don't know why, it just felt that it was, you know, you always had a platform to land on. This one, it more feels like... They just choose to appear or not. Even though I know it was kind of the same thing for Grimm's. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. This one, it just feels like sometimes there's just nothing there. Whereas Grimm's, it felt like there's always something for you to kind of step on. Or land on, at least. Like, at some point. This, it's like, it has t sometimes entire, like, columns completely empty. Which really, uh, sucked. Or which really sucks, because I'm currently in the midst of this pain. And it also does not help that platforming is not, like, my strong suit. Where's she dropping down from? Okay, I can take the logger here. Oh, I got hit with that, really? I got hit again! Good day for us. Well, and 
<laughs> You're a fighter, not a platformer, yeah. That sounds about right. Because fighting, it's like, I could just throw myself at the same thing over and over, and eventually, I'll learn the moves, right? Platforming, it rec it's... I have to still learn the moves. <laughs> no matter what. Like, I, I, like, I still... You know, it still relies on my skill or whatever. Platforming, it's like, eventually, you know, I'll get it. Okay, there that goes, and then that's gonna hit. I'm gonna dash. You see, like, there, there's basically an entire row with no platforms there in the middle. Sonic could not prepare you. Nope. It could not. It tried its best to, but it could not. You, like, look at these platforms, man. I, I, it, I, I hate this, the, the way this boss does his platforms so much. I don't even know which move I prefer to get. Okay, there we go. Finally get this. Uh, what am I doing? She was wrong. What? How did I do that much damage to her? This match will get red hot. If I just use my special, he was dead. Okay, well that's a great way to go. We're just saying everything you died, yeah, every time, yeah. It was like, you know, I could just go back and do the same thing. But hers, it's like, the platform sometimes just decide not to be there at certain points. I can't believe I did that much damage to her though, like that, I, I didn't realize I could do that much damage to her. Nice, okay. I keep thinking I can go above these things, you know, like, jump above them, but I can't. Because it's like, there's a wall right there. I hit... Oh, thankfully, there's a platform there. I'm gonna die there, yeah. I was just not in a good spot. Because it's really hard to define what makes a boss. Yeah, that is true. These platforms could be a boss fight if you really wanted. Running away from some, isn't a boss fight, but to some others. Yeah, that is true. Like, uh, I'm sure there's some weird... I mean, so you wouldn't classify the Sonic... Uh, bosses as like, you know, boss fights when you're kind of just running? Oh, let's make sure I dodge this. Nice. I don't know how I took no damage there. I was really expecting to take a point of damage right there when I did that. Or I could just fail my platform jumps like that and then take two bits. Look, where are the platforms here? There are two columns with absolutely no platforms. Oh, and, and it's just like, because of that, that just screwed me over there. It's the reason why I took two points of damage.
Yeah, for me, definitely this boss platforms, like, without a doubt. Like, there's no question in my mind. A there's a deplete of health bar where it has a lot of bosses, which is... I guess, yeah. I didn't think of those as boss fights. I definitely see what she means. Like, I, I wouldn't consider those boss fights either, really. I, th I consider those like a chase section, you know, not a boss fight. Like, I wouldn't say Ori. Oh my. Aw, oh, that sucks. I'm gonna take more damage here? No. I wouldn't say Ori had uh, boss fights, really. Like, it was a, just full on platforming. Like, with some enemies you had to defeat. Okay, that's a good bit of damage off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how close are we? There we go, good. That should pass over as well. Nice. Well, I'm cutting this very close. Okay, I can get hit once in this section. Really, that hit me. Oh my, I hate this. Because the fact it's moving up for these missiles throws me off. Because it's like, I know the path they're gonna go, but because the... Auto scroller is moving up and it like shifts the missile as, as well, so it like it always screws with me. What I like about using the lobber as well is that it kills these uh like worker bees as well. That goes, oh, I don't have the roundabout equipment. I was doing some damage to her. Okay. Thank you, game, for not putting any platforms for me. I really appreciate this. Oh, I have- okay, I just realized. I did- I haven't played Will of the Wisps, I only played the Blind Forest. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I- I can retry this. A great slam and then so yeah, I haven't like oh, yeah, the other use spoilers a spider boss. <laughs> yeah, I mean I guess yeah, but I'm sure it's probably alluded to throughout the entire game. That's at least you know the blind forest, like you know what the like enemy is you're fighting. But yeah, it's no problem. That's my bad for not noticing the uh, the game you're talking about. I always forget like which one's the pre the you know first one, and the second one. Oh, I don't like this. But she's gonna spawn it in another one now. Every time. I'm so close there.
Okay. She has to be close, right? I'm gonna use this. How close? How much HP does she need to take? Okay. This match will get red hot. And begin. Never be because going back after playing with Willow was kind of disappointing. I can imagine. I think I got. I don't think I hundred percent the game, but I got uh. I got a lot. I got basically everything that I want. That like, like the major collectibles, I believe. I could be wrong though. Maybe I did complete everything. I can't remember. No, I don't think I completed everything. I think there's some stuff I just was not interested in. But I could, you know, fully understand why you would want to go through, you know, after playing the sequel and stuff like that. It's like, you already have experience of something better, you know? Why would you experience the thing, the, like, first iteration of it? Because of time trials. <laughs> time trials seem crazy. I didn't want to use this here. Okay, well, I guess I could, if I could get a lot of damage off, that'll be fine. But now the main thing is if I can uh, survive to the next thing. Okay. So I've done a lot of... I get damage during that part? Okay. Oh, what's the reason you don't like time trials? You would say. I jumped in the pit. Oh, okay, my bad then. <laughs> I thought she hit me there, but no, there was just there just wasn't any platforms. You gotta love it. I love how just randomly there's no platforms uh, in a single area. Look at that in the middle. There's still no platforms down the middle. I was looking that entire time. I wasn't using roundabout that entire time. I need to be using this one. I just ran into that. Okay, I feel like I'm very confident doing the uh, triangles now. Um, where did the ball like that pink ball go? Oh, she's running to that side. Okay, I should be able to hit that. Get a bunch more damage off. Cool. There we go. Okay. Took a bit longer, but we did get there. Especially always because it takes away some abilities, which is... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. B minus. I feel like it's the average I'm getting with all my grades. Rumor Honey Bottoms. Well, I guess we figure out what her name is. Ah, that wolf gang. Always taking ten notes to express two notes worth of music. He has no conception of what I mean by less is more. I know you agree with me. Go convince that tin-eared clock. 
You won't listen to me anymore. All right, Pog, though, we finished that, uh... Boss, and now we have this guy. Dr. Call's robot. And there's another- so there's two more running guns, really. I didn't realize there were still more running guns to do. Because I know there's one here, but I thought there was only, like, four. How much- how many more, like, areas do we have? Uh... I want to check that? No, it's gonna be quick, right? Yeah, list. There's finale, so I guess, yeah, there's only two more running guns here. Yeah, two here, two here, two here. Okay. It's literally your favorite thing in games, or, or your least favorite thing in games, yeah. I can understand why it's like, oh, look at this cool mechanic. Okay, now we're gonna take it away from you. Okay, so let's try this running gun down here, since I didn't try this one yet first. Oh wait, no, this is not a running gun, this is Captain Briny Beard. A great plan oh, it's this guy. Oh, okay. Let's exit the map and choose some weapons. We'll try it out. When Hall that made you get rid of the charm that generates every second to get the true ending. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, why'd you have to get rid of that to get the true ending? Oh, was it to get like a different charm? I can't remember exactly. Okay, roundabout, and... Let's have this one. Here's a real high and begin. Oh, you can't... Oh, you can only hit this guy? Oh, you just aim up, okay. Okay, nice. Okay, I think I don't like this attack for this. Oh, I, I thought that the bucket was not gonna come- not the bucket, the barrel wasn't gonna come down there. Oh, there's a squid! What are you doing to my screen? Yeah, they get void hard, you need to get rid of King Soul. Oh yeah, King Soul, okay, yeah. Ah! Well, this doesn't look too hard so far. I probably just need a different attack. What would be good here? Maybe charge. And then I can do pea shooter. Normally. Long range with average damage. Average damage. So they do the same damage? Is what I'm understanding? It adds, oh no. Yeah, to get the Void Heart, you, so now you have to make a whole second save you want to play as King, so, uh huh. Good day for Okay. Oh, that will come directly at me as well. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. I like the dance he kind of does. Okay, so does that attack my screen or no? No, it just makes it darker. stand here and it's fine oh the shark okay so the shark and the cannonball will come like that a real good to know
No, I can't. Anytime he puts away, like, it just doesn't put away the squid like that, that sucks. Or not the, the octopus. The shark means I have to kind of stand here. What else we have? Now is he calling the squid? Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to see the cannonball because, uh... Oh, there's a thing there. I didn't get to see what he did. Okay, that squid lasts a long time. So, the beginning phase isn't hard with this boss, but it just adds more and more is what I'm understanding, and eventually it gets very hard. I messed up my dash. What do we have coming up here? A shark? Okay. What do we have come oh, okay, what is that? Oh, there's multi- Okay, you know, I thought that would stop eventually, but no. This- I don't know what happens in last phase, but so far this boss seems fine to beat. Okay, good so far. Ads are over. Good to hear. Yeah, no, I agree that, uh, you know, I, I think it's kind of stupid that, uh, you know, you can't have two, like, you know, of the same charms from the Grim Troop. Okay, how many different, like, times do they send stuff at me there? I was really sad when I found out I couldn't even have, uh, you know, different, um... Like, the different charms that they have. Like, from, from the Grim Troop. Okay, barrel's coming down. It still has a hitbox after? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard, like, you know, some people just get locked out, you know, like, you know, because they don't know anything. And, uh, they're just like, oh, you know, I wanted to get this charm, but, like, I didn't realize I'd be locked out. So it's re it does really suck to see. You do wish, you know, you can kind of, uh... Have more information on it. Okay. So, one... Two... Three. Four, there's four of them, okay. Is it the squid now? Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, now the ship is gonna start shooting cannonballs at me. There's a lot of crap on my screen right now. Okay. Dang, this, like, ship spewing the cannonball on me on repeat is not nice with this shot. This will get because it feels like it takes me forever to like actually get this thing off. Oh, I'm restarting here. Here's a real high Dang, this doesn't work. I'll get this charm, this charm. Hmm. Yeah, losing King Soul did suck. I do remember feeling bad to lose it. Because I really... I, I'm pretty sure I was running that as well. I'm pretty sure everyone did because it was, uh... It was just really nice. I'm sure it's like, you know, that was... Hollow Knight was Team Cherry's first game, right? Like, you know, uh... As a studio? So, I'm sure they've learned a lot from it as well.
The shark is actually the easier zone. I just need to stand close. I mean, sure, when it's the ship starting to, uh, like, throw cannonballs at me, that's gonna be a bit difficult, but still. Right now, it's okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, the ship is now going to start launching stuff. Okay, actually, you know, with the charge shot, it just allows me to, you know, hold my... Sh I just have to hold my shot more. Oh, no, I don't like this. Need to be careful. You see, that's what I was kind of worried about with the ship. Really? Oh, this is the worst! I think so, isn't that super good for it's for fighting bosses? The pet would be really helpful. Oh, so do you have to have a separate save file to when doing your challenge? I'm restarting here. I can get the third base without taking any damage. Okay. What is this supposed to be? Like a dogfish? No, you're just gonna deal with having it. Okay. <laughs> with not having it. Uh, I wish you good luck then. You sure you prefer not to have another save file with it? Like, to make the challenge easier? Holy, I don't know how. I dodged that. I jumped into the barrel. Ah, this ship makes things so much more difficult. I really don't feel like this boss is that difficult. You don't want to put this to have an easier time on a couple bosses. I'm sure you could probably like, you know, not speed on it, but like, since you know where everything is, you can get to everything like pretty fast. Okay, three charge shots is pretty huge. <laughs> Why is the barrel like walking or like rocking back and forth like that? Okay, when it's the ink, this is completely fine. I don't care about this attack at all. Like, unless it's later on. Obviously now it's like, uh... You see, like, now, I didn't even realize the ship was, uh, starting to, like, trigger. Look how fast that shoots. I really dislike that. You see, now is where I'm a bit scared of it. It just comes out immediately. A great clam in that. This is the first uh, boss, by the way, where I'm actually using, like, the block feature. I don't think I've ever used this, um, you know, this, like, as an intended, uh, like, use to get damage. Only as, like, a way to try and use the mechanic. I <laughs> think it's still late till 2026. It'll be some time, we'll see.
Can I shoot this cannonball? I don't know. Oh, I hate this. Maybe I should just use my super to get out of this phase, because I really just dislike this phase. Retry. I mean, I guess... Uh, that way, you know, if you release it when Silk Song is released, like, you know, around that time, maybe people, like, you know, will be wanting to watch more Hollow Knight content, right? So, it could be good. Maybe you could delay it if you want for Silk Song. Here the ship goes, starting to attack. Oh, so I could dash into the ship like that. Okay, I should be able to attack here, and it's fine. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, I just duck when that's happening. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You're excited for this, even if I broke your heart by keeping gameplay away. I mean, yeah, you know, like, obviously it's hard, really difficult for a game to be perfect. And Hollow Knight is just very good at keeping the things that, uh, like, really good. M much more, like, you know, often than the things that you think could be improved. For a very cheap price, you know, comparatively to some other titles where you don't get as good of an experience. I really just wanted to beat that B-Bot, but I feel I'm really close to beating this boss as well. So I don't know. Oh, I could just kill the squid? I didn't even know that. Come on. That's so weird. It was doing the like cannibal animation and then stopped. Oh no. I'm gonna get hit there. I got a duck. Hmm. Okay, when it's this phase, I think I swap to the roundabout. Good day for Any earlier than that, the video's gonna come. Wait, I'm so sorry, never. I'm restarting here. Right there to beating this boss. Okay, there it shoots the octopus stuff. <laughs> I really love the dance the guy does with, you know, with the pirates. I took some damage, you know, I didn't have to. And right here. Why am I saying September is actually means September of the Earth? Exactly! Now you know, you know, what it means to be a Hollow Knight fan. Okay, we jump around. Uh, really, of course, one shot had to come out again. I'm restarting. A great slam and then... <laughs> it's really funny that people think all you know Silk Song's gonna come out. You know, we all know that it's just never, uh, never actually gonna be released. They're gonna say it's coming like over and over again, and then we're still gonna be like, guys, Silk Song's coming soon when we reach like 90 years old. It's so like I was rewatching the Silk Song trailer, and it's crazy. It looks like there's so much done. So I really wonder, you know, like what there is still to do with the game.
really, I'm just completely messing up my inputs. The see Silk Song remedies those issues. Okay, sure. I guess you will have a place uh, where you will, you know, have your thoughts noted down and then you can reference them later. What's coming? Is a squid? Okay, I like kill it. Oh, I literally one-shot it. Wait, the animation didn't even play. What? Come on. A brawl is surely brewing. Okay, there we go. One, two. I jumped into the barrel. I was a bit worried that the shark was gonna come soon, but no, it didn't. Alright, reach right here. Good day for us. Well, uh, the fact that the barrel came down there at that point really sucked as well. One, two, three. The squid really isn't that bad. Maybe I shouldn't try to kill it. I don't know. I don't want to shoot up. The ship should... St yep, exactly. I was kind of expecting that soon. Okay, I'm just going to use this. I am really not bothered to do with this ship. hate this so much. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop after this attempt. I feel like I'm getting very annoyed now. After this attempt. Okay. He shot another one! Alright, okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna not kill that octopus, but then I actually just one-shot it, so... Or sorry, that that's the squid. He's using an octopus. Okay, let's drop this down, make sure the barrel goes first. in his hand and I didn't see it because of the squid. Taking away gameplay for story immersion for the first area giving a bad impression of the rest of the game. Really? Why do you say the first area gives a bad impression of the rest of the game? Uh, hiding the ability to see game percentage and inventory behind a lore tablet. To an easy mode or story seeker mode. I like the Soul Sanctum. Tossing in that Samsung notes to see if Silk fixes. Okay. Okay, but I think I will be uh, leaving it for here. I'm leaving it from here. That's a pretty long stream, I would say. Like, I mean, longer than normal. I was, I, I believe. But yeah, that'll be uh, it for me then. Um. With Cuphead, yeah. The game is smooth, smooth, and fun once you get there are the movement abilities, but the first area makes you really clunky. Okay. Oh yes, video! My bad!
Okay, let's let's get this. Okay, so let's get this. Um and then what are we doing? Yeah. Yes. There we go. So remember last time where I didn't listen to my audience so I could fight the easiest boss I had available? Well, it looks like I should have just listened to them in the first place because to Jimmy is basically a joke. Oops. It's on. <laughs> the man, I agree. Yeah, I know. I definitely agree with that. Thing to know about his first phase. Knife exactly. feels really stiff until you get the mantis claw. Twice per attempt, and then never does it again. This is important because to Jimmy's hitbox extends behind him whenever he does this attack for some reason. So without shrinking, you take damage. Oh, so wait, you just like boss. constantly but parry? Is that what he's doing? Attack twice. We're safe to just stay behind a Jimmy to hit him since Whetstone does in fact hit in a circle around Mugman. This just leaves three possible attacks that to Jimmy can use in this phase. Wait, so why is he using Mugman and not Cuphead? Is there any like specific reason or no? Beating it or he's playing parry right now. Okay. Jewels are the worst attack since they prevent us from hitting to Jimmy while we dodge them and can hit us too quickly to dodge consistently. So I would always reset when seeing them. Cats are okay, but they will hold on to us while behind the boss, and the sarcophagus opening can block our path. Eventually, I found that it's most efficient to just reset for swords, since they take a long time to launch towards us and can easily be dodged, making them go... Uh, okay, they close. But okay, okay. Because he... I don't know. The way he said it, it says, like, oh, okay, Mugman spins in a circle. So I was just like, oh, okay, it's specific for, like, what is it? I thought there might have been some difference between the Mugman and Cuphead. ...down in comparison to missing it. This is great for the phase transition too, since damage done here carries over to the Jimmy's sarcophagus phase. And it's about to be necessary, since the pillar phase requires us to break the ones with the Jimmy's face on them to get through without taking damage. A lot of people asked how I was going to do this phase specifically. Just hit them twice. I, I guess people thought they had more health or something. I mean. <laughs> The phase still isn't easy since we have to avoid the sauce as usual, which sometimes takes long enough without shrinking to force us to ram into the pillar thanks to this phase being an auto-scroller. As I improved, this became more uncommon to the point that I would try to hit both pillars with the face on them as long as I was ahead of the auto-scroll enough since damage here also carries over to the sarcophagus phase, Dang, okay. which is by far the worst one with stone only. And the only reason I consider this fight at all challenging. The problem is, this phase just isn't designed for melee combat. I know, shocking. Dejimi's attack is to launch his eyes in an up and down pattern which damages the player. But if you're the perfect distance from Dejimi, they won't hit you when just being launched, so we're saved, right? Wow, no. okay. He also summons mummies from the sarcophagus, and we don't have time to dodge them. Wait, so why is he not, like, spamming parry right now? I tried for potential G-spots, like going behind the sarcophagus, and you can actually hit the Jimmy from the side, but, like phase one, his attack expands his hitbox behind him, resulting in us taking damage. Funnily enough, shrinking would prevent us from getting hit here, too. Oh well. Without cheesing this phase, it's going to be very difficult to safely attack due to the overlap of Dejimi's attack and summons. The mummies take two hits to kill, which is already bad since they move so fast, but I also have to be mindful of where the eyes are at the same time. The middle of the screen is the most dangerous since Dejimi's eyes will always meet there, which leaves the top or bottom as my two options to stay at. While you might think there's no major difference between the two, the bottom of the screen is actually much safer since mummies very rarely spawn low enough to hit us while we hug my new best friend, the bottom of the screen. We can hit to Jimmy when he's also near the bottom, as long as we know he's not about to attack due to him just doing so. Otherwise, just stay far enough away to dodge. This strategy takes a really long time to get any significant damage in, 
and isn't consistent enough to actually beat the face before dying to a tough attack pattern or odd mummies summon low enough to hit us. Even the extra damage that carries over from hitting to Jimmy between phases, hitting every totem, and the extra two hits at the start of the phase isn't enough to make this work. So it's time to channel my inner cuphead, even if I have to play Mugman, and roll the dice. Instead of so he did say he has to play Mugman. Hits, hmm. Double down and follow to Jimmy while mashing Whetstone. Again, as long as you're the right distance away from him, his eyes won't hit you, but a mummy spawning right where you are is basically a guaranteed hit. It's possible okay, so you just like if you're bursted it down. down. But sometimes they're hidden behind a Jimmy, so good luck dodging that. On a good attempt, I get here with three health and will almost always lose one or two if I get through, and that's still an because you always place cuphead. It's okay. Not 50 50 on surviving the phase or not, but it's well worth the reward of actually getting to the next one. And pretty quickly at that, as it takes about a minute and 30 seconds for a successful attempt to get through this phase. I've had a couple people ask if secret phases are allowed in this challenge, and I think they're fair game since you still get soul contracts for beating them. That being said, we can't do this one since it requires shrinking to activate. Cuppet's phase is a bit of a weird one. We're obviously going to stick to the right side of the screen to actually do damage, so the biggest threat is to Jimmy's hat chasing the player. Or, well, it would be if it didn't get stuck once we go above Cuppet. This will make things much easier. Wait, that's crazy. The hat just stays there? Most likely get unstuck, which will complicate the phase a lot more. Before then, you can continuously attack Cuppet's Cup, which has a straight hit slash hurt box, contrary to how he slants it when shooting in front of himself like a dummy. The hat will still shoot bullets even when stuck, so sometimes you have to move. Murder <laughs> Matt sounds like some D. Well, I mean, I, you got, I guess you got a new name for your uh, D and D campaigns. Get a lot more complicated since every other spot is much more awkward. <laughs> that honestly does sound like a good, na good name. Do so. You have to be the most cautious when attacking behind or below Cupid, since once the face transitions, he'll usually kick you, and even if he doesn't. Dodging might make the hat hit you on its way out. Just be mindful of about how many hits you've got in this phase, so you can try to finish it above Cuppet for the most consistent escape. The final phase okay. isn't that bad. It took a little getting used to the delay in the pyramid attack to know exactly which spots were safest and committing to going above or below them to wait out the beams. Other than that, the Jimmy will periodically fire a three-ringed beam of his own at the player's current location. It's not really a threat if you just move, like, at all, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah, this phase, like, this phase was not hard. Like, that pretty sure the second I made it this phase, there's one as well. Consistently be forced to move so it's like, it just seems like it'll take much longer. Until... Man, you got a lot of attacks off. That's a, so many attacks. Let's go. <laughs> you can't defeat me even without your wishes three. Um, the Jimmy more like add Jimmy. Um. All right, pretty cool. Uh, I mean, this is still just the stream reaction, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. I think uh, that'll be it then. Definitely interesting. Way to, uh, you know, beat it. Only four minute fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, phase three was four minutes, if you mean. Oh, you mean here? Yeah. Yeah, that, that looked... I guess because, like, that fight here was, uh... What is it? For phase three? It was just you kind of just sit there spam, so it's, like, much shorter. And then phase four... And phase five... Because... Like, I'm not sure. It seemed like he kind of just sit, sat there and spammed. <laughs> Uh, for like this boss, but I'm sure the other boss is like, you know, here, yeah, 17 minutes, right? Like, I'll just go through here. Let's see. 
Where is this at? How long does this take? 58 minutes. So, yeah. It, um... It's pretty long. But yeah, definitely interesting. I'll have to see. An hour for the winning attempt is crazy, yeah. But yeah, that'll be it for me then, I think. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Surplus. I appreciate it. You should definitely get some good rest in. Um, and thanks to everyone else who might have stopped by the stream. Um, I'll be back with more Cuphead. Probably tomorrow. I will... I... I... Yes, let's let's see. Look, for now, I'll say tomorrow. I will see if I actually do that. But yeah, for now, we'll say tomorrow. Okay.